Hey guys, in this video, should I probably share? Okay. Hey guys, in this episode, let's see how to send images in your uh, chats. So first of all, I would like to thank uh, uh, my new patron. I got a new patron last week. His name is Joe Chim, I think. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. So yeah, thanks, uh, thanks for being my patron. Uh, uh, and let's just jump right into today's episode. Now, uh, uh, I said that we'll see how to see send images in our uh, chats, right? So actually, uh, okay, I'll show that before starting with this, uh, let's divide this entire video into three parts. Okay. Uh, I mean, not uh, like uh, part one, part two and part three, three sections. The first section, we would uh, see how to place a button uh, to so that you can uh, upon clicking that button, you can select an image from your device. The second thing we'll be doing is storing that image to Firebase storage and getting a download URL. The third thing is uh, using the download URL, how you are going to display it on your uh, device or uh, yeah, in your uh, chat window. So we'll be seeing how to code these three sections in this video. Let's start with the first section. Let's start from where we left off last time in our last episode. Uh, so in this buddychat.html, I'll add a button on the nav bar. Uh, right end of the nav bar okay so on button end inside this ion icon name equals camera uh, click sorry click equals Send, send, pick, message. Okay. Okay. No, actually, I think we need to give it like this. Um, button. Button. Um, button. And uh, this will just be the icon. Yeah. Uh, now we have a button on the far, I mean, not far, top right corner of our nav bar uh, of our application. Uh, let's write the send pick message function for this uh, corresponding button. Uh, here what we'll need to do is uh, we already have a function uh, for uploading a, for choosing an image from our uh, mobile's file system and then uploading it right so we'll make use of that same function just we'll change the location of where that picture is being uploaded we are having that inside image handler right so first let me just you know import from image providers image handler image handler and here I will give image handler provider here also I will uh, give uh, loading controller so that we can show a loading animation uh, public loading control Loading controller. Can say this. This start. Uh, start loader. Equals the start loading control dot create. dot image or oh, image I didn't create image store image handler provider image image handler provider image store dot uh, upload image upload image right I forgot the name of the function upload we will write a new uh, function here 
pick message store okay this will not be upload image this okay. pick message store so we will go ahead and write the this is section 2 guys we are writing code for uploading an image okay choosing and uploading an image it will be exactly similar to this code right i am simply copy pasting this remaking reusing the same code more to put it in a better way but instead of this profile images i am changing this to uh, a different directory i will give the directory as pick pick messages this will be returning a promise which i will make use of this will have the uh, download url so i can simply first loader dot dismiss and uh, i should add this to the existing chat window right that's all that's all i need to do here so uh, i can simply use uh, do this thing right simply uh so this dot chat service dot add new message uh, response so instead of response we will have it to a more meaningful name means you are okay dot then uh, this dot content dot scroll to bottom this dot new message Okay. Uh, we'll write a catch for this. Third error. Okay. Now we have something that will enable us to choose a message from the phone's file system. and then upon successful uploading it will get a download url and then that url will be uh, added as a new message that url will be a line right a string so that will be added as a new message uh, yeah all's well uh, so now we need to on the front end side on the html front facing screen side what we need to do is we need to check if that uh, thing is a new the message that arrived is a url or a normal text so that's all we need to do if it's a url then obviously it's a message right it's the get download url uh, so uh, if it's a url you need to show it as an image if not just a text right uh, so let's do that let's go ahead and do that this is the listener for subscribed for new message right so inside this we need to check whether the new message is a url Uh, so how are we going to do that i will have another array image or not okay and this will be not here i'll get here this dot image or not equals a blank this and then for air key in all messages uh, if not all messages this dot if uh this dot all messages of key dot message uh dot substring dot all messages of zero comma four equals equals http because all your URLs will start with http uh then 
this dot image or not top dot push uh, true So whatever message we have in the chat window, we'll check whether it's an image or not. And then if it's an image, we are pushing it as true. And if it's not, we are pushing it as false inside an array. So this images, uh, this is, sorry, no, not images. The messages array is the one that we are iterating in the chat window, right? Uh, uh, let's go to the HTML part and see how we are going to handle this and display the uh, images as an image instead of text in our uh, screen. So I'll go to buddychat.html and uh, it's pretty much simple guys, to be honest. Mm. This is h3 something, right? Here simply add another ngf, that's all. ng if I not ng if not not image or not of uh, i. If it's false, then uh, this message will be displayed as a text. Uh, if it's true, if it's true, then it should be displayed as a image, right? Image source equals uh, item dot message. Here in the NGF, I'll simply give an image or not of I. And I'll do the same here too. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's it, right? It's pretty much simple, right? We have done three sections. One is we placed a button on the top right corner. Second thing, upon clicking that button, we are uh, providing a provision in which uh, the user can choose a image from his phone's file system. And once he chooses that, it will be uploaded to uh, Firebase storage. Then uh, the download URL will be added to the chat window. We are checking whether the added message is a URL or a normal message. Normal message is in some random string. And then uh, if it's a URL, we are displaying, we are giving that URL as a source to the image tag. If not, we are displaying it uh, simply as a H3. Uh, that is a, a simple text. That's all we have done here. Let's see if this works fine. Uh, okay, first let me check once. See, these are all, since this is, as I said, a beginner level, uh, how do I say this? This is, this tutorial is more suited for people who have who have uh, learned, who have read the doc documentation, who have learned something uh, about, uh, learned the basics about I Ionic 2 uh, and are unsure about uh, how to proceed. If you are well versed in JavaScript, you would obviously know that instead of writing this entire thing, I could have simply used a map function on this array, right? Uh, this dot all messages dot map of item, if I had given, then I would get each and every element from that item. And I could have simply performed this operation. Uh, let's leave that, okay. Uh, okay, let's run this first and see what happens. To run this, I need to sacrifice my mouse. I'll sacrifice my mouse. I need my keyboard, obviously. So give me a minute, guys. I'll connect my mobile device and then screencast this so that you can, you know. Yeah. So uh, where is it? These two guys are friends, right? You obviously know that from the previous videos. I need not explain this again, I think. Tester 3 is this guy uh, and uh, Tester 4 is this person. These two people are friends. Let me just try sending a... Uh, wait. These are 
some messages that we previously sent in our uh, previous conversation let me just you know send one message hello see uh, that instant functionality works fine right uh, let us just now try sending a uh, image and see what happens okay so i'll first click on this button see you can see that uh, we can send messages right i mean picture messages and they are appearing as uh, pictures whereas if you just send a normal text message it is identifying it as a text message and then uh, displaying it accordingly right so this is what i wanted to show you guys today this is how you can send uh, you can make use of firebase storage to uh, store your pictures and send them across in your uh, chat windows uh, um, yeah this is what i wanted to show you guys today in this episode hope it was not too long this is pretty much simple if you know how to if you are if you have already accomplished the one to one chat feature uh, scrolling i think there was a little bit of a minor problem uh, you just need to i think i need to fix the scrolling so that you know for images as well it automatically scrolls down but anyway i didn't want to drag this video that is uh, like a two minute work so yeah guys uh, th uh, thanks for your support on patreon by the way thanks for all my patrons uh, and uh, if you can support me on patreon kindly do so so that i can help uh, so that you would be helping me keep this content free of charge so that it can be seen by all of the people around the world uh if you, if you, if you think patreon is not possible and but you would like to donate something kindly click on the one time donation link uh, that i have created as well uh, which is available in the description by the way thanks guys thanks for watching share this video with someone else uh, so that you can help them share this playlist with someone else many people send me messages and mail saying that thank god i found this channel this series is excellent thank god i found this series uh, or something like that so share the word uh, sh um, share this around so that it might help a lot of people uh, thanks once again i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye